This video will go over the correct stitch bolt procedure for a DVX 2801 and 2101. Stitch bolts can be placed in from the back of the cabinets or from the front by removing the individual modules. In this image, you can see the four interconnect stitch bolt locations. We will start by showing the horizontal stitch bolt procedure. In this image, you can see on the top the stitch bolts being applied from the right cabinet into the left cabinet, and on the bottom image, the stitch bolts being applied from the left cabinet into the right cabinet. We will start with the front axis. Since we're going from the front, we'll have to remove the corner module. This is the top access point. As you can see, like the picture shown before, we are applying the stitch bolts from the right cabinet into the left cabinet. On the bottom access point here, we are applying the stitch bolts from the left cabinet going into the right cabinet. For the purpose of this video, stitch bolts were placed into sections on the ground. During installation, all stitch bolts must be fastened while sections are on the primary structure. When you're replacing stitch bolts from the back, the back cabinet panel door will need to be removed. You can see the panel door bolt locations in this image. This will be the horizontal access from the rear. Again, although it is hard to see in this video, with the top access, we are applying the stitch bolts from the right cabinet into the left cabinet if you are viewing them from the front. And with the bottom access, we are applying the stitch bolts from the left cabinet into the right cabinet, again if you are viewing them from the front. For the purposes of this demonstration, we open the module on the front to show what the rear axis of the stitch bolts looks like. Now with the vertical stitch bolt procedure. In this image you can see on the left side the stitch bolts being applied from the top cabinet going into the bottom cabinet, and on the right side the stitch bolts being applied from the bottom cabinet into the top cabinet. We will start with the front axis again. On the right side of the cabinet, you will remove the module and apply the stitch bolts in an upward position going from the bottom cabinet into the top cabinet. And on the left side, we will apply the stitch bolts in a downward position, going from the top cabinet into the bottom cabinet. Lastly, we will show the rear vertical axis. Again, it's hard to see in this video, but of viewing the cabinets from the front, this is the right side, and we are applying the stitch bolts in an upward position, going from the bottom cabinet into the top cabinet. And on the left side, we are applying the stitch bolts in a downward position, going from the top cabinet into the bottom cabinet. Again, for the purposes of this demonstration, we open the module on the front to show a better angle of the rear access.